one night of the darkness. So there once was a, a boy, just your average guy. He liked to play outside. He liked to play with friends. He liked animals. And for some reason, he liked giraffes more than dogs and cats. Quite the weirdo. If you agree with me. Well, cool. But he was going over to a friend's till one day his power started flickering. And he, he asked his mom, what's, what's going on at my friend's house? And then he said, well, this is the whole neighborhood problem. We're losing power. And the friend said, our house might be the only one with power for the next week. And he's like, oh, God, it's pretty dark in here. He may be right, but how are they going to make it a whole week without any light and staying out of friends? So, he tried to fix it himself. Ends up shocking himself, ends up crying like a baby, grabs his dog, and he just pets it. And then he goes right back over to his friend, and he asks him, hey, you want to play outside? He said, it's too dark outside. It was a gloomy night. And it was the next day when the power started coming back on. But in a weird way. The, the co colors were disoriented. Everything turned kind of... The lights were yellow. It kind of turned colorblind. But they knew it, was, it wasn't just him. It was everybody. Everybody was seeing this. So now, no dogs could see. Nobody could see a thing. Then suddenly... Whole world went dark. They realized this is an internet problem. There was no free Wi-Fi. <coughs> there was not even food at the grocery store. So they had to rely on what they had at home. No food? Yes, mom, no food. And only lights they had were candles. Only food they were eating Delicious lettuce with some meat and crunchy things. The kids weren't too happy about that. Neither were the dogs. That's the sound of a house falling. They didn't know what happened. So they go over to check it out. And his friend sees a man. But it wasn't quite a man. Then the lights in the world came back on and the man was gone. So they went to bed, had a sleepover, and Pitch Black told scary stories like this, but this one's true. Not really, but pretend like it is, please. But he went over to turn on the light. He forgot, oh crap, there's no light. So he had to go pee in the dark. And the lights flickered back on once again, and he saw the same man. Old, crippled, except for he had a knife in his hand. And then he woke up, all a dream. Lights were still off. The light thing was not a dream. He was like, oh, God. But then well, his friend was staring dead at the outside, scared, pale. Fall, and then his friend falls on the ground and runs under his bed and hides and tells his friend, get under here. He's out there. And his friend asks who. Well, no, he asked his friend who. And he said, the old guy. <coughs> the old what? The old guy. The old guy we saw at the house. He's back. I think he wants to kill us or something. So he grabbed his pocket knife out of his bag and hid under the bed with his friend. And then they fell asleep. And they wake up day two. They try to they try to go somewhere. They don't find anything. Then he hears a loud scream. Sounds like his friends. And he is getting a call from a very deep red, kind of blood colored number. He was like, what the heck? That's weird. And he goes over to the color red phone. He's like, maybe it's just a glare. No, they had no internet, so how were they calling? They had no power. This is so weird. <coughs> and they pick up it was old, disturbing noise. And then they heard text message noises. 
and they were like, what the heck? Then they got a message saying, I know you heard that. Next thing they know, there's a knock on their door, and the old man screaming, let me in. And then you won't believe what happens next. Rakamashiana punches him in the jaw, and it's all over. 